Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome to a new post bag. Now, before we get started, this post bag basically marks the start of a few new videos regarding the long awaited windmill, the reflow oven, and a few others that depend on the reflow oven. Also, the front panel USB 3.0 PCB is supposed to be inside one of these packages. So please stay tuned on my channel to uh, yeah, actually get updates on when those videos come out. And without further ado, I suggest that we get started with this one. Now, this one simply lists socket with a value of four pence. So let's open this and let's view what's inside here. Now this exacto knife is a little bit weird. That's because I basically broke all the uh, yeah, all the knife parts, the knife bits that were supposed to fit in this size. So I'm using the ones for a smaller one. But it cuts fine. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, so these are 230 volt AC connectors that you can screw at the inside of a device. But I see that this is the wrong one. I wanted the inverted one of this. So, yeah. This is, well, not exactly of no use for me, but I wanted the ones with the prongs that you would plug your cable in and this doesn't accept a cable. This is a female and I wanted a male. So yeah, I think I'll have to reorder those. A little unfortunate, but oh well. They're rated for 230 volts or 250 volts at 10 amps. So. Nevertheless, quite a good, uh, quite a good connector. Now this one, this feels rather heavy, and it doesn't really. Sh oh, switch value of one dollars, and it says it's a switch. Now this is a heavy switch, so let's take a look at what's inside. Ah, these things. Oh. These are not switches. These are DC jacks to terminal blocks. I used to have two, or well, I still have them, but they don't fit every DC jack. So these should fit the standard DC jack, which they do, finally. The green ones didn't fit the standard DC jack, but now with these I'm able to just plug them in to any DC jack and supply the voltage with my, my lab bench or anything else. So yeah, really, uh, really great. I'll post these down below in the description so you can order them if you want. So on to the next one. This also feels a little bit heavy and it says soldering flux pen with a value of $1.37. So, yeah, what could be in here? Place your beds down below and don't look. A solder flux pen. Well, it says it's of caster. Okay, caster is a popular solder thing brand. Shelf life at 25 degrees, two years. So I think that that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it, I think it does list all the, all the where it is, all the countries that Castor is active in. Is my camera able to focus? So Castor, but I'm not sure if this is real Castor or not. But that's uh, maybe we'll use that today, or maybe not. Who knows? So, solder flux pen. I always wanted one of those because I've got that gel type of solder flux. And yeah, it, it's not really in the right position. 
when I apply it. So, ooh, which one should we do first? This one or this one? Well, I think that this one is the least interesting. But it, the, it is most definitely the heaviest one. And this has been in transit for a very long time and I didn't get any updates on it. So that's a little bit annoying. But I do know what it is. And it's not written on the box. Oh, it's written over here. But I think that frequent viewers of this channel might already know what it is. It's nothing special, it's just white PLA. But let's take a look. Nicely packaged in a vacuum. One kilogram. Now I'm supposing that this is including the, yeah, the roll. Oh, they even provided a scale. Look, I'm not sure if you can see that, but they provided a scale. But if, if the roll is over here, then it's half a kilogram, and over here it's one fourth of a kilogram. And they also provided it for ABS, so I suppose that's the same roll that they use. I uh, haven't seen this, it's quite handy because now you know how much uh, filament you've got left. So, what does surprise me? Oh, never mind. What's this? Oh, there's a clip. They even included a clip for the filament. Wow. I was just about to say that I was surprised that none of those little bags that suck up the humidity was in here. But there is. So, oh, this looks really, uh, really fancy. So, yeah. Let's just put this aside because I won't need it now. And let's continue with the, well, unfortunately with the final but also the most interesting item and I do already know the contents because I obviously ordered it and these are JLC PCB PCBs so let's open the box real quick now this should contain the final revision of my USB 3.0 uh, front panel PCB and it does include a little puzzle of the I suppose the GLC PCB factory so let's just see if we can solve that puzzle I don't think it will be a huge amount of time because there is text written all over the place and I think that we're quite easily able to solve all the pieces. Well, I can already see coupon code. So I suppose that we're having a coupon code once this is finished. There you go, there's the, so now we know that this is the, the left or the right corner. And uh, this is also supposed to go here. Like so. Just solving this puzzle real quick. Quite funny. Every time you order something, they will include something different. Milling room. So I suppose this really is an overview of their factory, which is quite cool. There you go. Now I'm not sure how many pieces, and this needs to go over here, how many pieces are in between here, but coupon, I think, yeah, there you go. This is really funny. Last time I got some phone holder and that I at first I thought well I don't need this but I must admit that I 
regularly use that so that's yeah but this this is really cool keeps your brain uh, focused which is good and it gives a uh, oh no, not over here it gives a nice overview of the factory which has always been of an interest of me there was a time and a period that they did those uh, scenes that you got to watch and then you got a coupon code I really enjoyed watching them because they will just show the the whole factory and you would yeah, get to know the the process of making PCBs and yeah it's, it's really interesting really interesting process so we're progressing quite quick actually which is uh, oh I'd say perfectly fine so the corner piece for this one oh, this one no this one oh, this one is supposed to go over here yes now this one is supposed to go over here mm. it's really really cool so oh, another one of those yeah it fits. I think that this one might fit over there. And does this one fit? Yes. Now this one fits over here. Uh, the centerpiece of this thing is a little too small, but I think we should be able to lift it up in one piece. Oh, no, over here. So. Yeah, we're almost, almost there. We're almost there, so... Well, I think that this is going to be a little bit of a harder part. Because now... Now the, the things are, the puzzle pieces are starting to look a bit of the same. Oh, there you go. There's one. There's another one. And I think that there's another one. middle piece and this one goes over here well we're almost done with this little cute puzzle oh no this one goes over here I suppose I didn't knew they were sending out puzzles but that's uh, really cool Just try to oh there you go. Now suppose that this one yeah that looks alright. Well let's actually move off the mat. Because that's ruining it a bit. There you go, that's better. Now, over here, this one, it's really, really nice that they included a puzzle, it's, it's, I'm having so much fun making this puzzle. So there should be one with some devices on there. No, a little bit too dark. No. There we go. 
So we're almost done puzzling. Yeah. So this one goes here and the final piece goes in like this. So, a little coupon code for you. Let's zoom in. Oh, There you go. So this is the completed puzzle. Now let's move on to the PCBs. So, PCBs. We've got this, these little bags that contain them. Now this is for the reflow oven. I created a PCB that I can solder everything on. So the sensors, the node MCU, and the various other components. That's self-sustaining and self... It's, it's, yeah. So that when you plug it in, the thing is active and you can just use it. So, yeah, two thermal couples. It also features an external SPI header over here and AC, AC input. And uh, I think it's 3.3 volts. Yeah, 3.3 volts, 240 volts AC to 3.3 volts DC. And they also updated the solar masking technique because my logo is now crystal clear. That's really cool. So yeah, I'll be soldering those uh, for the reflow oven and I'll keep you updated on that. Now the last one is the, these are the PCBs for the front panel. Now let's actually grab the components and check if they all fit. So we've got a few components. Now let's check if this is, these are the old, no, these are the new USB connectors. So these two fit with a oh, rather satisfying click, actually. They are in, so that's one. Now obviously the, the speaker connectors are, uh, we're going to desolder those from the previous PCB. So this one obviously fits. So we'll take the speaker connections from this PCB, the original one. And these were the old USB connectors. And now we've got those USB type C connectors that fit. Like so. So USB type C, they fit. Yeah, all the pins are coming through. So it will be an, a challenge to solder the back pins to the PCB. Because as you can see, they're very tiny. So not sure how I'm going to do that, but we'll find a way. Now, yeah, these are the other PCB. We've got this one, the USB type C receptacle. So let's connect this to the PCB. Obviously with the right way up. This should fit a lot better. Last time the whole USB connector started rotating. But this looks like it's fitting a lot better. So that's also solved. The USB type C connector is now properly fitting on the PCB. And yeah, the other two, 
these connectors and these connectors are I'm going to take that off of this PCB so with this extension cable that adapts this F-type connector to a regular type C plug and with this USB 3.1 extension cable I think that we're well basically ready to go on soldering this thing together and well hopefully hoping that it actually fits so yeah this PCB is well actually a bit of success yeah you can barely see it but I can see it the points of the original connector are coming through so it's the right size which is absolutely perfect so I'm going to figure out a way to solder these USB type C connectors and then we'll actually test the PCB inside my computer oh and I checked the the uh, wiring of this extension cord and it's well basically straight through you can just plug this side in your motherboard and this side will have the right connections on the other end which is what I had hoped for but I couldn't find any information on that so yeah well this is the PCB well except for the items that are still on this PCB that we're hopefully going to install in our computer case real quick and real soon so thank you guys for watching this postback video I hope you enjoyed it and if you do please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys bye oh hey hello uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here well if you want you can also view two other videos of me so make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos